Hello everyone, I'm Leora Sims. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another lot showcase. Today's lot is a house called Mia's Place. And the sim that you see before you is Mia. And Mia the Sim was created or inspired by a real person. And that person is Mia Sienkiewicz. She is one of the push girls from the Sundance channel show Puss Girls, which has since gone off the air, unfortunately. But Mia is not a fake person. She's not a character. It was a reality show. And I will leave a card in the video that will lead you to my create a sim showcase on her that I did quite a while ago and I built her home her sim home in November so it's been quite a long time and this is the first time after I built this house I realized that my roofing started to get better and I'm happy to report that before recording this video, I went in and I made some changes to the home. And I did not have to change the roof in any way. Mia Sankowitz lives in California in an apartment so I wanted this house to have an apartment feel to it and this home is completely base game when I originally built it it was before get to work came out So now I will have the Sim Mia show you her home. I did change the original landscaping and I was going to move one of these plants because as you can see the plants are coming through the fence but I thought that was a nice touch so I left it alone. Oftentimes you'll see plants like that growing through fences.
as you can see when Mia enters her home C is in her living room I did add some coloring to the walls because originally I wanted this home to have all white walls but the drywall in The Sims 4 was not showing up we need some brighter whites in The Sims 4 just plain bright whites that will actually show up on the walls I think that's important because I know a lot of people who live in homes that only have white walls or drywall this area behind the couch um, or couches can be used as a hallway or an extension of the living area you could put a bar here or a guitar I built this area for entertaining or for skill building I didn't want the house to be too expensive Next, we have Mia's kitchen. I changed the kitchen a little bit. She has her stove, her fridge, her sink, and a lot of counter space. I like this kitchen because for such a small house it is a big kitchen and I tried to make the rooms very large because the real Mia Sankowitz is in a wheelchair and I know that a wheelchair can take up a lot of space so I wanted this house to have a very open easy feel to it. I tried to make this house look handicapped accessible even though we don't have disabilities in The Sims 4. I still try to represent it and this is how I would want my kitten because I do have a physical disability and I want counters to hold on to I don't like when things in the kitten are spread out it makes it very very difficult for me when the stove is across the room from the sink the kitten can be a very tricky place for someone with a physical disability. I did add the dishwasher just now before recording. I wasn't going to, but then I thought that it would be easier for Mia or anybody else who's in a wheelchair and I have been in a wheelchair to load the dishwasher instead of standing up by the sink and washing dishes so because I could I added it
next we have the very special bathroom. I say it's a very special bathroom because it's the first bathroom that I built like this. Um, it's not the last bathroom that I'm going to build like build build like this, but um, in November I attempted this and it worked out well. But I never had the opportunity to do it again because I didn't feel that I had the room. But I will be doing this um, again for other houses. Let me put the walls down for a second so you have a better idea of what I did. So here we have the bathroom. In this room, you have some counter space. I love counters. And you have your toilet. Then you have a wall which leads you to a separate room, which is still the bathroom. And here in its own room, you have a shower. Now this chair is the closest I have in The Sims 4 to a shower bench because somebody who has a disability would find it very hard to step into a tub or step into a shower tub combo. So I put the chair here because I could. <laughs> what I would like to build, guys, what would be really, really nice is if I could build a room like this, put the shower bench in, or the, or this chair in to the room, and have a shower on the wall. Eventually, we did have, um, showers on the wall in The Sims 3 and people made walk-in showers. That's really the easiest thing for somebody with a disability. I would love to just take the shower combo away and uh, make this whole room a shower and just have the shower on the wall. Um, but again, I did the best I could with what I had. This is the first bathroom in the house. There is another bathroom. Next. We have A bedroom. A very simple bedroom. This bedroom was made for a child or if your sim has a roommate. And you could make this into a little gym. You can see that I did put the punching bag here. And next we have Mia's bedroom. 
which is the master. So here in this master, you have a nice bed, some more light, a chair, a desk, and a computer. Again, I try to make this room look very large and very accessible. That's also why um, this house is not on a, one of the reasons that this house, uh, is not on a foundation. I wanted it to look very flat. And we got a new game update, um, yesterday. So, you can now claim a bed. Now, Mia already claimed this bed, so it's ghosted. But if I go over here, she can claim this bed. We also got another base game trait. I'm so excited about this trait because I, I thought that we were only going to get new traits if we bought expansion packs and stuff packs and um, game packs and I was so happy that we have this new trait and the new trait is not temporary it's the new trait is not going anywhere what is going away eventually unless you get the spooky day stuff pack is the trick or treat interaction That was just a side note. <laughs> Back to the house. Here you have a second bathroom that I just added in today. Same shower, same toilet, different sink. And I chose this sink because it was very low. So I imagine if I was in a wheelchair currently, in the, well, if I was in a wheelchair in The Sims, um, I could use this sink from my chair, hopefully. And here is the sour bench again. So that is a small house. I hope you like it. I chose to put this house in Oasis Springs because I love the way the outside of the house looks in Oasis Springs. It is brick, but I got to use that peachy, grayish brick that I love so much, and it shows up very well in Oasis Springs. Today I also added some outdoor lighting. And now I'm going to show you what the house looks like during different times of day. And I'll tell you the price of it and its dimensions. And I'll show you the roof.
So this is the house in the morning time. This is the afternoon. This is the evening. The reason it's as bright as it is is because of the outdoor lighting. And this is night. As you can see, according to the gallery, this house is 43,641 simoleons. This is a nice house for a single sim, or a sim just starting out with a good job. And the lot size is 30 by 20. And from the picture, you can see the roof. It will be listed on the gallery by the time you see this video as Mia's place. I hope that you enjoy this house and that you have enjoyed the video. Please keep in mind that I do not use custom content and this house was built using only items from the base game. Thanks for watching. Be happy, guys. Hello, I'm Leora Sims, and my name on the gallery is Leora18. Thanks for watching.